Hi, I'm here today with a wonderful refrigerator from Medea. This thing is so compact and so cool. You can use this in so many different places. And the nice thing is it's really not that heavy. So if you decide to use it in one room and change your mind later, you can use it somewhere else. I'm gonna open it up so you can take a look. The door is actually reversible. Look at all of that room in there. This is awesome. It's really not that loud either. I think this is perfect for anyone who is looking for a smaller refrigerator. Okay, let's talk more about this awesome refrigerator. This is a refrigerator by Medea. I really like this fridge because of the size. I think it's really compact and I feel like it has a lot of uses because of that. You can use this in your office. You can use this in a guest room. You can use this anywhere you need an extra fridge. Maybe you are working in an office somewhere. You can take this to your work office possibly and use it there. So anywhere you can use a small fridge, you can use this. I like the extension cord. It's also quite long. I'm going to show you. I should mention that the extension cord, when you first buy this, is tucked in the back here. Okay, so if you have trouble finding it, just look back there and you'll find the cord. This refrigerator also has an adjustable foot on the bottom, which you can use to raise or lower the refrigerator. This might be useful if you have a floor that is uneven or something like that. So you can adjust the fridge so that it lays flat on the floor. Currently I have it on carpet and everything seems okay and level, so there's no need to adjust it. Okay, let's open up this fridge. So you'll notice that there's two handles. You can pull on this one or you can pull on this one. If that seems strange, it's because you can actually reverse the door. This refrigerator has a reversible door so that you can actually open it this way. Currently it's set up so that we can open it this way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and let's take a look inside. So many compartments in this little fridge. Let's talk about the compartments. So over here we have some space. You can put all kinds of stuff here and you have this little thing here so things don't fall. For example, here I have a soda. I can put it there. Here I have another soda. I can put it there, right? Really nice place to put your drinks. Very, very convenient. You also have a space here where you can put stuff. Also very convenient. And then over here you have like the main compartment in the little fridge. You have a space up here where things are really, really cold. You have this tray that comes out, which is really convenient because you can put something on the tray and then just pull it out. You'll notice that the tray um, sits in between this piece here and this piece here. So it'll stay in place, you see? It's stuck in place, but you can pull it out, which is really convenient. Another really nice feature is you can pull this out. Watch this. It just comes out completely. And I think that's really good because, you know, when it comes to refrigerators, there's one thing we all have to do that no one likes doing, and that's cleaning a refrigerator. This refrigerator is super easy to clean. And the reason it's easy to clean is because you can pull all of this out and then just take a rag and wipe it down, right? I mean, look, I can easily reach my hand in everywhere here. This is really cold, by the way. This has only been on for maybe 12, 15 minutes, and already it's very, very cold. This thing is working like a beast. I can't believe how cold it got. I mean, I can feel the coldness, and it's maybe been 15 minutes. I'm really, really shocked at how quickly this thing is, you know, cooling down. Very quick, very, very powerful, very efficient. Cleaning this is also very easy. Again, very easy to reach, so very easy to clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put these compartments back in. Really easy to slide in, look at that. Just slides in, super simple, super simple. But it does not feel cheap, it feels very well made. Wow, it is really cold. It's really cold up here, it's getting icy and stuff. Really awesome. So here's where you can adjust the refrigerator. So if we go all the way to off, now it's off. So I've basically turned it off. So you can turn it off, and that's really important to know, without unplugging it from the wall, right? And speaking of unplugging it from the wall and things like that, uh, when you first buy this, you should definitely read the instructions, okay? The instructions give you all kinds of warnings and tips, right? This is a refrigerator. It is a complicated instrument. Um, there are things you should do and things you shouldn't do. Now, when I say complicated instrument, I don't mean complicated in the sense that it's hard to use, right? It's very easy. You plug it in and you're good to go. I mean complicated in the sense that there's a lot going on here that we don't really fully understand. And so the instructions really, you know, tell you, they give you some warnings and precautions, things you shouldn't do and stuff like that. Even, even energy saving things. Like for example, here it says, keep away from heat and avoid direct sunlight. 
Do not place the refrigerator in moist or watery places to prevent rust or reduction of insulating effect. Right, so you wanna put it somewhere that's well ventilated, flat, sturdy, not in the direct line of the sun. Uh, so yeah, stuff like that is helpful. Uh, you know, you don't wanna put it in the hottest part of the room, <laughs> obviously, right? You, you don't want it to work that hard because uh, it is working very, very hard to keep your food cold. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. So how this works is you have different settings. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you can hear it really, really running. So one is going to be the warmest setting. So if we go to one, that's the warmest. And if you go all the way to six, that's going to be the coldest. I'm just gonna leave it here. Uh, this is how it came straight out of the box, just like that. Then you have this other compartment here, which is also really, really cold. You can put stuff in there as well. So very, very easy to use this fridge, right? The compartments are very simple. Um, you can put all kinds of foods in here. You know, anything you would put in a normal refrigerator, right? You can put in this, right? This is a normal refrigerator. So uh, small, compact. As far as the noise level, it's pretty quiet. Like I have, you know, the camera right up, you know, inside the fridge. So you're getting the worst of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna close this so we can get a better idea of what it sounds like. Okay, I'm currently standing about maybe, hmm, I would say four to five feet away from the fridge. There is no other sound in the room. It is actually really quiet right now, despite all of the construction that was going on earlier outside of where I am. Very, very quiet. So let's listen. So if you hear that, that's the refrigerator. I'm gonna step even back farther. Yeah, so fairly quiet. It's a, it's a light hum, you know, and it does make some funny sounds. It's a refrigerator, but it's pretty quiet. And you know, you can always turn it off. That's always an option when you're not using it. Another thing I really like about this fridge, and this is related to the size, it's basically the size because it is portable. That's right. Once you buy this and you put it in a room, it doesn't have to be there forever. You know, you can't really compare this to like the fridge you have in your home. Normally people have a very large fridge and it's in one place and there's a spot in your kitchen for that fridge because it takes up so much room. You know, a lot of kitchens have an insert where you put the fridge or, you know, a very designated area for the fridge. With this little thing, you don't really have to have a designated area, right? You can do whatever you want because it's the Medea and it's awesome and it's little and you can easily pick it up and put it anywhere. By the way, I should mention, it is not that heavy. Um, it really isn't. For a fridge, I expected it to be much, much heavier. This is really not that heavy. I was able to easily pick it up by myself. No problem at all. I was shocked at how light it actually felt. Here's a look at the back of the fridge. All kinds of warnings and all kinds of interesting things going on here. By the way, this is where the extension cord was. It was in here, okay? It was back behind this thing. That's where it was and it was wound up. When I first got this, I thought, oh no, they forgot the extension cord. <laughs> that was not the case. It did include the extension cord and it was already attached. I didn't have to do any work. There was a little twisty tie and I took it off and I plugged it in and it immediately started right up. I also like the color of this refrigerator. It's very easy to clean and because it's black, um, you know, if you get something on it, it's not going to look as bad. Um, it's just a really nice neutral color and it should fit in well with whatever decor you have in the room, which I think is really, really nice. This refrigerator also comes with some type of warranty. I haven't really read it, but I don't foresee, you know, you, you, you having to use the warranty. Um, you know, products like this, you know, tend to last a very, very long time. Medea is a really good brand. So, you know, if you buy something like this, I really expect it to last you for, for a very long time, uh, possibly for many, many years. Here it gives you the directions to change the door. Remember, I was talking about how the door is actually reversible. Now, I haven't tried this and I'm not going to, but it seems like it's pretty simple. They even include these, and I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure these are also uh, for replacing the door. You see how you have these two little things here? So I think what happens is you take this piece off and then you use these to cover up the holes. That's that's my thinking at least. I have not tried it. It looks pretty simple. It says you do need some tools to do it if you decide to do it, but honestly, this is not one of the features I think that is really, you know, that game changing when it comes to refrigerators. I mean, I'm okay with it opening this way. Uh, now I'm actually thinking, how does my other fridge open? The fridge I have in the kitchen, 
I think my other fridge opens this way and this one opens this way. So, uh, you know, to me, it's not really much of a, of a game changer. It's not a, really a deciding factor. Instead, I think the deciding factor on a fridge like this is actually the size. You know, if you're looking for a small fridge from a good brand that's affordable, I think this is a good choice. By the way, I can feel the coldness. Wow, I just opened it up. And again, it hasn't been running that long. I turned it off a few minutes ago and I turned it back on definitely much colder now i can definitely feel how cold this is yeah really really wonderful great refrigerator so let's do a test to see what kinds of things we can actually fit in this refrigerator so as you can see we can easily fit cans here in this shelf i'm gonna go ahead and move those let's try to fit a gallon of milk in here so let's see okay that doesn't quite work but maybe it will work let's see if we take this out and it's not to say that you're going to want to put a gallon of milk in here, right? Because a gallon of milk is a lot of milk for one of these refrigerators. Most people don't do that, but look, look at this. You can actually do it. I can put in a gallon of milk in this refrigerator and I can close it. So should you choose to do so, right? You can actually put a gallon of milk in this refrigerator. So that's, that's a big deal, right? Because it's a small refrigerator and you can't do that with all small refrigerators. So that is a success. So what about a half gallon of milk? Well, a half gallon of milk, you're gonna run into the same problem here. However, check this out. I just discovered this. I can put it right here. Look at that. There we go. We have a half gallon of milk in the refrigerator and then we can stick our sodas in here as well. Again, should we choose to do so. So um, the fact that this spot here can hold a half gallon of milk, I think is a big plus. I should emphasize that it's very snug too. It's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and make sure it closes to make sure it's a successful test. Yeah, it's closed. I'm going to open it, and there we have our half gallon of milk. I am really, really liking this refrigerator. Okay, what about basic things like mayonnaise? Here's a giant jar of mayonnaise. This is a very big jar, let's see. Yeah, it fits there. In fact, I can even slide it over here. So, really good spot for things like mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, and that's a big jar of mayonnaise. So, if you can fit that in there, you should be able to fit most other jars as well. How about some chicken broth? Again, we run into the same issue here. I guess you could t tip it over and put it sideways, but I wouldn't recommend that, especially because the lid is here. But that'll also fit in this spot here. So chicken broth is a success. And how about now a dozen eggs? Well, you can easily fit a dozen eggs here. And I suppose you could put them up here as well. Although, yeah, that'll work too. That's even better. So maybe there is a good spot for the eggs. And then we can put our milk back where it was over here. And then we can put some sodas here. And then we can throw in some mayonnaise. And we're good to go. Look at that. We're filling up the fridge. Then we still have to put this somewhere. But yeah, you get the idea. This fridge has tons of room. Overall, I think this is a really great fridge for anyone who is looking for a small fridge. I mean, the size is perfect. It's compact. You can use it in multiple rooms. The extension cord is quite long. It's got a reversible door which is nice if you decide to do that. Um, plenty of storage space. Also, the fact that this comes out so easily and this comes out so easily means you can store a larger item, such as a gallon of milk, if you choose to do so. It also means it's very easy to clean this refrigerator. I don't foresee that this would be difficult to clean. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in and put this back in. It feels like a real refrigerator, okay? It does not feel like a toy. Again, right now it's off. To turn it on, you just turn this, and then you can just set the cold setting, which is really, really easy. I'll just close it one more time so you can see. And yeah, the size is really the selling point, I think. So if you're looking for a nice fridge, I think this is a great choice. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.